all right guys this is david the mechanic today i'm doing a front brakes on a 2001 chevy tahoe uh first step of course let's go ahead and get it raised up i have a uh, wheel chalk behind the back wheel so that it doesn't roll away on me i have the jack already set right underneath there you might be able to see it all right, let's see. You want to make sure you get a good jack point. I have the jack set right underneath the frame. You can see the frame that runs along the length of the car. Should be a good support right there. Now we're not trying to get it all the way off the ground because we still want to break these studs loose. So let's just get it to where it's partially off. All right guys, I have the, the wheel off. I didn't raise the tires off the ground all completely because I had to break the studs free first. Then I raise it up and then I use my impact to get the studs completely off and this is what we're working with here so this is the uh, caliper that we've been removing this is your rotor this is your brake pads that will be changing inside the caliper this is your caliper bracket that we shouldn't have to remove um, if we were changing the rotor, then we will remove that caliper bracket. But since we're only changing the pads, we'll be removing just the caliper today. All right, guys. I have a T55 torch screw or star bit, whichever you call it. And this is what we'll need to get the caliper off. So, as you can see right here is where you put it. Yeah. And then we'll begin. It's being a little stubborn. It's usually hard to get them broken. There we go. Got the top one broken. Trying to get the bottom one broken. All right. All right, there it goes. Once we have those these bolts out we can go ahead and remove the caliper sometimes it's hard to remove you might have to pry it off In this case is seeming to wiggle only have one hand right now to use so it's wiggling off all right all right this is the caliper we have to get these pistons pushed back in and we're going to use a c-clamp for that we'll see that later on okay now most vehicles will have to string the caliper up with maybe a wire or something but 
Uh, we have a lot of space here to just lay this right here. And I, rec I recommend to still secure it. I mean, this is my vehicle, so I can take the chance uh, of doing this, but I recommend if you're doing this on anyone else's vehicle to secure that caliper. Now, these pads don't look too bad at all, but we're gonna go ahead and change them out anyways. All right, to get the old pads off, all you have to do is pry them out, get you a flathead screwdriver, do a little prying, they'll come out. Like I said, not bad shape, but since I'm down here, I'll replace them anyways. In the kit that I bought, I also have these replacement clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and pry out the old ones. And you can see the ones that come out, you wanna match up. So obviously that's not the one there. Uh, yep, there we go. That's the one we need right there. So we do go ahead and do them one at a time. That way we make sure we get the right one where it needs to be. Okay. Now we can pull the bottom one off. Smash that up. Looks like it to me. We go ahead and snap that one in. Good to me. Rotor spins freely without rubbing. Looks good to me. All right. Now we get our old brake pad. We set it there. We're gonna use that to press the calipers back in. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just use both of them. All right. Might have to do one side and then do the other since this is a, a two piston caliper. Don't forget to take your your cap off of your brake fluid reservoir. That's uh that's recommended as well when, when doing brakes and pushing the calipers back in. Back and forth, back and forth. It will go. Not a fan of the double ones, but they are more effective for driving, but not as effective for changing. The crazy part is, this is the hardest part of putting brake pads on. It's really not a hard job at all. there just gotta go back and forth until it's all done Calipers aren't this hard to go in, but this is a truck. 
And this, this caliper is all a little old. So there's no telling. That might be enough, but just in case. All right, and there we have it. Cowpers all pushed back in and ready to go. All right, now we have the cowpers pushed in and we have the, bra the new brackets on. Now it's time to put the new brake pads on. Very simple. These pads don't have a certain orientation. So just pick your favorite one in my case I decided to put the one with the wear sensor on the outside a lot of times you have to put the one with the wear sensor a lot of times on the inside but it's no problem with this vehicle now we'll go ahead and see if we have the pistons pushed in enough it should slide right on if we do. <sighs> Looks good to me. Now we go ahead, get our bolts, slide those back in. Line those up, slide them in. All right. Now we go ahead and Tighten them back up how they were. I like to still come back and hand tighten it. Alright, and that, my friends, is how you change brake pads on the 2001 Chevy Tahoe. It wasn't that hard. <laughs>